everyone, welcome back to another video. So, today is Friday, obviously it's the 24th, and I have my sticky note here, and I kind of have a bunch of stuff to do. A bunch of stuff to talk about, a bunch of stuff to show, so much is going on. First, let's talk about my state ID. Um, the other day, a couple days ago, I'm not sure when, I think Wednesday, um, my mom, no, Tuesday, I'm pretty sure, Tuesday, my mom brought me up to the place, and we registered for my state ID. I got the paperwork, um, it's shipping in the mail, should be here in a couple weeks, and I'm super excited. Since I got a state ID, I filled out an application, since I am now legally able to, and, sorry, and, uh, turned it in at Little Caesars. However, I'm kind of hoping they don't call me back, because the manager there, I don't know, I wasn't a big fan of him. He had extremely white teeth, like, white to the fact that they looked bleached, and I'm not sure if I trust that or not. But, so, if they don't call me back in a couple days, I'm just going to start applying elsewhere. I think I saw a dollar store nearby was hiring, and maybe I'll see what their age range is. Next is my editing skills. Guys, I've been using Windows Movie Maker because it's all I have access to at the moment. I think I've been getting real good, see. The next video you'll see tomorrow is going to be a speed art that I learned how to edit all by myself, might I add. I didn't watch any video, I didn't ask any people, I just kind of clicked around on Windows Movie Maker until I found out what I needed to find, and I'm really excited. I've learned how to cut clips together, I learned how to do all that stuff. Windows Movie Maker isn't that hard to navigate, but I was really happy that I was able to do that. Yay! Um, and I have a no I have two speed arts ready and edited on my computer in case I need to upload another one on Sunday. But we'll see. I'm going to a birthday party for my cousins tomorrow, so maybe I can talk about that and upload it Sunday. We'll see, we'll see. Next is the art that I've been doing. You'll see one of the speed arts is one of these, but I've been working on these name faces, which is what I call them. The other day, since I'm super obsessed with Supernatural, which by the way, I finished season 1 through 10, but Netflix doesn't have season 11, so I can't watch it at the moment. But, um, I was drawing Misha, who is an actor who plays Castiel, and I did really well on it in my opinion, but I didn't want to ruin it by drawing a face, because I'm really bad at human faces, so what I did was I just wrote in his name. Misha. And then, I liked it so much that I made another one of Sam, which actually kind of turned out better in my opinion. And then this is the one that you'll see the speed art of. This is YouTube and Twitch streamer Femme stuff. And then in here, I didn't put it in a sleeve yet, it's just in my drawer, let me grab it with that room. Is YouTube and Twitch streamer Gold Glove, or Brennan, obviously. And I'm not going to show you the picture that I did of the speed art that you'll see tomorrow because I want it to be a surprise, you know? I did post it on my social media though, however, so you might already know if you follow those. If you don't, you should. Hey. Um, next is my Target haul. I didn't really get pretty much anything. Also, I didn't um, say anything, but I've been wearing them. Um, well, me and my mom and my sister went to Arby's and my sister got a kid's meal and she got these cute little cat ears and she gave them to me because she didn't want them. So I've been wearing them because they're super cute and I love them. So I got one of the anime mystery boxes, like little figurines. Not the elf figurine that I got, but a different one. And I just literally, I, ha I bought four of them in the past. I got all three of the different um, Sword Art Online characters. Hey, hush. Computer just sang to me. And I don't even watch Sword Art Online, but I have all three characters. I don't even know their names. Secondly, what I got was another Supernatural poster, which I guess I might as well... It's on, I'm on a tripod right now, so hold on. Here's the Supernatural poster I got. Bam. This is a really bad view. That one. The one with just the three of them. Alright, let's... Reposition. Are we good? We're good. I said I was getting good at editing, but I'm not sure if I want to edit that. If I did, cool. So that was my Target haul. Very short. Very sweet. And then nextly was my JCPenney's Michael's Art Store haul. So first off, what I got was 
this just normal red flannel just a normal red flannel it kind of looks like a um um what's it called a uh, lumberjack because red's my favorite color and i really wanted some more flannel so i got this it's just a normal flannel it's an x one it's a one x because we got it in like plus sizes but it was on sale and i was like yolo <laughs> The second thing I got, it's very similar to this one actually, I didn't even take out the tags off of any of these. It's a red flannel like top, it's got some mesh on the shoulders, and it doesn't have any buttons because it's kind of like an overcoat, and then on the inside there's just like this black tank top looking cutesy thingy. Hope you can see that very well, it's very dark, the material is very dark, but I'll try to get some light on it. <laughs> So I got those two shirts and then I bought this just plain white t -sh tank top which I'm going to be making into a Cass Was Here t-shirt. Um, I've seen them around, I've seen uh, DIY videos on YouTube of it. It's basically in Supernatural, whenever Dean came out of hell, he had like a burned hand, like a swelled up handprint on his arm and that's because whenever Cass was pulling him out that's what happened he gripped him and it burned into his flesh and so what people have been making is a white tank top with two red hands and it says Cass was here because it's like they he pulled them out of the underworld you know and so what I bought today from Michaels was black and red come on now black and red tulip soft fabric paint uh, to paint those with which were expensive by the way and also from Michaels what I got was this little um, I guess I could scoot up now since I'm done showing things off um, I got this little medieval looking key because I oh, I just love medieval things like keys and journals and I just love them so much and so I got this I think this was like three dollars killing but you know I got it anyway because it's super cute I, they've been at Michael's for years and I've always looked at them I've always wanted one and I finally got one and this one was my favorite because of how design up the top was but uh, yeah lastly what we're going to talk about is the fact that at the beginning of this summer I was like I'm going to finish the, I'm going to well, probably not finish but I'm going to read the Maximum Ride series if you don't know what that is I've talked about it a few times but it's super super long I got like maybe a little less than halfway through the first book again the second time of reading it and honestly I'm bored <laughs> like really bored and I just haven't been reading it in days because I don't want to it's just sorry there's a cut in my ear and it really hurts and I keep messing with it and it's not helping. But so I decided to give up on Maximum Ride for right now. I kept the bookmark in it and everything. And I'm reading Paper Towns by John Green. If you have read this, please leave your opinions without any spoilers, please, down in the description. Uh, I started reading it yesterday. I'm not that far in. Uh, chapter 3, page 30. So I haven't, I haven't gotten that far, but, you know. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I think that's about it for today's video. The speed arts are pretty short. The first one, which you'll see tomorrow, is it took me 20 minutes to draw and color and everything. And I think it cut down to like three, two, three minutes of actual speed art footage. But I really hope you guys do enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like and a yeah. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, hit subscribe to become bunny today. Even though I have cat ears, I'm still the funny bunny. And um, check out my social medias if you want to see more posts on my new things, on how my Cass Was Here shirt is coming along. Obviously, I haven't started it yet because I just bought the paint like 10 minutes ago and then I came home and I recorded. I'm recording now. <coughs> oh gosh, sorry about that. Follow my Instagram, bunny underscore art, to check out more art that I will be posting whenever I do it, because I'm not going to speed art everything, even though it would be fun to do. I don't know what you guys want to see, so you have to leave that in the comments down below. Also leave in the comments, I don't know, have you ever 
what's your favorite fabric paint brand? I tweeted at um, C Lemon, who I get a lot of inspiration from. You should totally check her out on YouTube. She's amazing. Um, I tweeted her what brand she preferred to use, and coincidentally, she responded as I was in line purchasing Tulip Soft Brand. She said that she liked Tulip Soft Brand. Perfect. <laughs> this was six dollars a bottle for four fluid ounces. That's absurd. And it's gonna take three days, 72 hours to be exact. But that's perfectly fine by me. Really hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said before, smack that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in a nice speedy new art. And hopefully I'll have something else planned for Sunday. I'm not sure if I can't think of anything. If nothing too spectacular happens at this birthday party tomorrow, then I'll just upload the speed art and, you know, be done with that. But, um, I really hope you guys did enjoy. Peace out. Bye-bye. Freaking bunny bunny. See you guys in the next one. I love you so much. What?